my name is Catalina and I'm in charge of catering here at Fromage Nation. Today we're going to talk about how to build your own cheese board using different cheese boards to showcase different types of cheese. When picking out your cheese, we recommend buying one to two ounces per person per cheese. When you purchase your cheese, it's going to come in this Fromage Nation cheese paper. The cheese paper allows the cheese to breathe while not taking on the other smells from your refrigerator. And we recommend taking it out about one hour before serving. We're gonna start with three soft cheeses. Because of their delicacy, we like to keep them full, but we'll do a first cut to help everybody understand just how to cut their cheeses. As you can see, we've added a couple more cheeses. We've done this to showcase the variety in which you can cut your cheese. A lot of these are done in long triangles. This is a really aesthetically pleasing way to cut your cheese, and it also showcases the flavor from the core of the cheese to the rind. As cheese ages, its flavor changes, and you wanna be able to taste every step of the way. We've also got some cubes here, and some chunks from this piece of Gouda. These just are a little more organic, and a little more of a variety. Uh, we've got the blue here. Uh, we like to serve blue last, almost at, like a dessert. If you eat this cheese first, you might actually ruin your palate and you won't be able to enjoy the other cheeses. Here at Fromage Nation, we not only sell cheese, but we have a wide variety of charcuterie as well. We specialize in underground meats from right here in Madison, but we also have imported Italian salami, American prosciutto, and Spanish serrano ham. When building your cheese plate, you want to create a lot of volume and depth and you can do that really easily with your charcuterie. We like to slice our salamis very thin and create almost like a flower shape, like a little rose. With prosciutto, you always wanna do tall ribbons. And then with smaller salamis, you can just stack. So once we're done placing our meat, we come in with our crackers and crostinis. So we like to do a variety of both crackers, crostinis, little toast points, just to, keep textures exciting and different. So the reason why we choose to put crackers during this next step is because you're trying to fill in little holes um, with your crunchy bits. Once we're done with crackers and crostinis, we move on to our dried fruit, fresh fruit, and nuts. So when building the tray, you want to have a variety of color on each little section you want to have a rainbow on your tray. To go along with the fruit and nuts on your plate, you also want to incorporate some spreads. That could be some fruit preserves, some mustard, um, a pate, something that you can spread onto your cracker and layer with your cheese just to give it a little more flavor and excitement. Remember, you always want to have a variety of cheeses with different textures. You want to have a lot of height on your tray and a lot of movement, and you can create this with the salami river, with the crackers, with the fruit. You also want to have a variety of textures with your companions. Um, so you want something a little soft and sweet, such as your dried fruit, or crunchy and salty, such as your corn nuts or marcona almonds. And then a variety of flavors with your companions. So we've got some pickled items that are sour and salty. We've got some spicy items with your peppers. And then we've got some fresh, juicy, sweet items with your fresh fruit. So we know that holiday entertaining can be very stressful. So if you don't want to do this yourself, you can call us and talk to one of our experts and we can make a tray for you just like this. You can give us a call, we'll consult with you, talk about what kind of cheeses you like, what kind of flavors you like, and create a special board for any occasion. Come in our shop and work one-on-one -on -one with our cheesemongers in a very safe and comfortable way. We're located on the Capitol Square here in Madison.